Have you heard about micro front ends? If not, I am going to talk about that in this video. If yes, I am going to tell you more details about it. So hang on with me till the end. Now I believe that all of you must have heard about microservices, right? It is, you know, so called hot word of the day and every cloud deployment, every company working on cloud computing has deployed microservices in some form or other. So basically microservices was invented or maybe, you know, came into picture because people didn't want to use monolithic architecture, which means that even if you do a small amount of change at very small place in your application, you need to deploy complete application. And that was a problem. And with microservices, you can do these small amount of changes in individual microservices and you can deploy those microservices without impacting the performance of or the code of any existing microservices. Also, it helps you to keep the code decoupled, which means that, you know, different set of teams or people can become the owner of those microservices and they can work independently. Now, micro frontends are actually similar to microservices because the purpose is same. Micro frontend is all about, you know, changing your frontend in such a way so that, you know, your frontend is not a single application, but a combination of multiple independent and separate applications or separate frontends. For example, let's talk about headers and footers of, you know, your frontend. No matter which page the user goes, your header and footer will be same. So, you know, let's say the company is taken over by someone else and header and footer needs to change because the company name might have changed. In that case, if you are using a micro frontend, you just need to change the micro frontend talks about header and footer. You can keep the application as it is without touching it. You do not need to deploy your complete application. This looks very good and lucrative, at least on paper. Reality might be different for different different individual or organizations, but you know, there is one thing which micro frontend will help. It will help us to create, you know, multiple teams for frontend, multiple individual independent entities for frontend. Now, let me tell you my own observation and opinion about micro frontend. So microservices were created uh, for a different purpose. It was not only segregating monolithic application, but also to make sure that, you know, backup is there. There are architectures that can be derived out of microservices, but micro frontends are mostly about, you know, making sure that you can create some independent pieces of the frontend so that it's easy to maintain. It's mostly from the people perspective and people factor. There are micro frontend architecture that are coming into picture now. We will have to see how it works because at this moment of time, I am not aware of any full fledged micro frontend implementation because I'm not saying that it is not there. Uh, I'm damn sure that micro frontend implementation is there and lots of frontends are micro frontend, but people are not advertising it as a micro frontend because it has nothing to do with, you know, your frontend. Your user experience will not change. You may take some more time and you need to come up with an architecture where multiple, you know, uh, interfaces can talk to each other. There should be, you know, agreement between different micro frontends and you need one container which can bring in all these micro frontends and display it to the user. The benefit is obvious, you know, if there is one problem with one particular part of um, your frontend, for example, you know, logo is not being displayed properly or it is not displayed in some scenario that can be fixed without changing the complete code or without having a downtime to deploy complete frontend. Downtimes are pathetic for frontend. You know, backend you can manage somehow, even if it's a bit slow. Frontend downtime is pathetic and your customer will not gonna like it. Apart from this, you know, there is another benefit of micro frontend is that, you know, you have a backup machine up and running, backup frontend up and running in case some problem happen with your, you know, current frontend. And it's not that you need to backup complete frontend to the older version. 
and there can be one of the entity that can go back to the older version and then you know things can still be working so micro front end has their own benefit but let me warn you that if you want to create micro front end uh, architecture is must you need to carefully think about how your architecture will look like you need to carefully design your container which will fetch um, different different data from different different micro front ends if you manage to do this properly i'm damn sure that micro front ends is gonna help you a lot so that's all i had for this new micro front end thing at this point of time thanks a lot people thanks for watching till the next time we meet good day goodbye take care